when i had come out of college i didn't realize how important standards are but when i went to the corporate world i realized that isa standard din namur asme and pip were very essential for our engineering projects one of the standards that really caught my attention were pip standards pip standards are stands for process industry practices they were founded in the year 1993 they are an initiative that is funded by cii construction industries institute and they are based at the university of texas austin one of the best universities in the world pip standards have some amazing companies like chevron bayer bp dupont exxon bsf etc just to name a few but what i liked about pip standard is something very different When I started with PIP standards the first thing that I realized was their design was very different as compared to other standards usually in our engineering projects a minimalistic design is especially helpful in terms when you have a project which has a very tight schedule that you need to meet and especially as engineers we need to quickly glance through and standards and data and get the data quickly for the engineering procurement and installation of a particular instrument for that case i realized that pip standards have a to the point and just 10 to 15 pages as compared to the other standards like 200 page or a 300 page standard so it was very quick and easy for me to quickly glance through and get the required points for procuring an instrument or for designing the installation etc the next thing was that these standards are also very crisp and easy to understand If you look at particular standards we usually have a notion that the standards would have a lot of jargons huge paragraphs but and it would make us confused but if you realize pip standards are very easy just one or two lines and their language is so simple that every vendor contractor engineer can understand it very simply the next thing that i liked about these standards was that it is made by the best process people for the process people so the people have already experienced the issues and then come up with these standards as we had seen that all the member companies and the engineers and designers from all these member companies come together to form all the pip standards so we can rely on these standards and lot of tips and techniques are based on the internal working of the company and their lessons learned which they share it with other member companies the final thing that i liked about these standards were that they are very smartly organized and i have even written an entire ebook on how amazingly these standards are organized So it's it has an eight digit system which has you know the PC stands for process control that is instrumentation then the section is it for fabrication is it for the criteria of design etc and the temperature group so it's like it's a temperature instruments or flow instruments or analyzers etc here you will also notice that we'll take a practical example to understand what i mean by the segregation so imagine that i have an orifice flow meter and i have to see its installation so there's a specific standard that deals with the installation part of it however what if i just have to fabricate and know the size of the plate the thickness etc for that i'll have a separate specific fabrication standard so i don't have to go through various standards to find out i have a particular standard that deals with a particular stage of engineering or particular requirement of engineering also here's an ebook which i've written in depth if you're interested to know how these pip standards are organized for instrumentation and how you can learn very quickly the link would be given in the comment section and in the description below the next thing now we're going to learn is about how to download these standards So you might ask the next thing that how do I download how do I use this PIP standards one thing is you could go to the PIP standards official website and they have their members section there you could search for your company if your company is part of PIP standards then you can surely ask them for a login and get the PIP standards what if you're not able to find here or you have some other path to do it yes the answer is the ihs market a lot of corporate companies have subscribed to the ihs market and pip standards are also available at the ihs market so you can even download it from there what if you don't have both these options available 
is there a free standards portal or where you can download a few fee standards the answer to that is yes there are a few standards that the pip has kept free for people to understand and to actually experience them for every single discipline so you can go to discipline wise and figure out for example here's a standard for control valve for analyzers etc which you can download them for free understand experience pip standards and if you like them then go forward for buying these standards